Hello there everyone. Um, today I will be doing a Briar Collection update video. I think the last time you guys saw my Briar Collection was on the first video. And these are all the new Briars I've gotten. So I'm going to give you an update on all of them real quick. Yeah, I got quite a bit since the last video. And I'm just going to go through each of them here with you. This horse I got off Briar's website is the Bravent Mare. It's on the Wixom mold. And this I got this one for around $55. It's a really nice horse, actually. Pretty shiny and nice for the price. And I really like this one. I got these horses, which are part of the Classics series. Um, they're part of the... Walmart's Wild Mustang sets from 2001. Got both these guys off eBay for $9.50 for the set of them. I think this horse is really cute. They're named Alano and Matteo, and this is a little full. They're just really cute horses that I really like the price I got them for. You're so pretty, aren't you? Such a pretty horse. I got the Bay Arabian which is a classic briar. It's really pretty. I got it for around $18 on Amazon. It's just a really pretty horse. I really liked it, so I ordered this one. Just a nice model. I got this horse, which was part of the Briar Wild Mustangs collection. I got him off eBay with a cougar and another horse for $25. This one is a beautiful classic horse. This guy is really cool because he's in the rearing position. And I don't know exactly what this guy's called. I just know that he's... I don't know. He might be Appaloosa or I don't know. He might be from another set. But I think he's really, really cool. He's just a really cool horse to have. Any of you guys should add him to your collection. Because he's just beautiful. I got this horse in the same set with the last one. Um, it's a classic Briar. I do not know which Briar horse this is, so if you want to write under the comments and help me identify it, I don't really have any idea as to which horse this is right now. I think it's pretty cute. I think it's a chestnut horse, looks like. Chestnut or Sorel. Um, it's really pretty horse. I like it. It's a Briar Classics. It's just another great horse. I got the Briar Springtime Philly. Be quiet. And its name is Camila. It's a 1 6 scale horse. I got this one off Amazon for around $29. She's really, really pretty. And she is very big compared to the other Briar horses. See? She's super huge. And I think she's really, really cute. She's just a wonderful, magnificent Briar horse to have. I got the Briar Traditional Marwari, which is a really pretty horse. It's Palomino, which is my favorite horse color. Um, this is the 1-9 scale horse, and it's another really pretty horse. If you guys haven't seen it before, you guys can find it on Amazon. I got mine for around $42, but I've seen it cheaper elsewhere, so that kind of made me a little ticked off. But, you know, it's just a pretty horse to have to your collection. I got the RCH Venturum's Peruvian Stallion. He's a pretty horse. He's the traditional Briar. And he's one of the newer horses the Briar has made. Got him off Amazon for around $40. He's a really pretty horse to add to your collection also, and he's about the same size as the Marwari. I got the Briar Pinto Prancer, which is actually a remake of the vintage original Pinto Prancer from the Briar Gallery. He is really beautiful. He comes with darling gold chain reins and a beautiful saddle. He's just a really nice horse, and he's considered traditional, but he's not that big. As you can see, he's about the size of a classic. But, I don't know, he's traditional. He's around $29. He's really pretty. 
And he has a high gloss finish. I got the Briar Palomino Pinto from the Barrel Racing Set. He's really pretty. He came with a fence and a barrel. And he also came with this darling little saddle and blanket and reins that we see here. This one was actually from 2012. They have a newer version of the Barrel Racing Set out today. It's more girlish with an Appaloosa. But I really like this one, so I actually got this one instead of the newer one. Since, you know, sometimes the older Briars just have that special touch of about them, you know. This guy's just a really pretty horse, too. And he's a classic sized. This horse came from the Briar Western set with it came with a rider and a saddle and some reins and stuff too. Um it's pretty. It's the same mold, kind of the same horse as the horse from the Wild Blue set, the book set, and that horse. Except it's brown. It is an Appaloosa, as you can see by the telltale spots. And it's a classic Briar, pretty basic. What is it? Strawberry Roan horse? I don't know. But it, it's a pretty one for your classics collection. I got the Phoenix Clydesdale. He is absolutely gorgeous. He's one of the newer Briar horses. And he is traditional scale. He is a huge beauty. He's just a wonderful horse. I got him for around 40 on Amazon. And he's just one of those perfect draft horses that you've got to have in your Briar collection. He's just in he's just a beautiful horse. He's gorgeous. That's all I can say. I was really impressed when he came. He's pretty heavy, too. So the Phoenix Clydesdale is a beautiful horse dad to your collection. If the Phoenix horse wasn't magnificent enough, this Gypsy Vaughn takes the cake for being a beautiful, gorgeous horse. I noticed that lots of you Briar fans probably do have this horse already. So shout out to those who do and know how beautiful and gorgeous this horse is. I have been eyeing this one for a long time and finally purchased it. I absolutely love this horse. It's so beautiful. It's a traditional large briar. And I was just stunned with the beauty and the gorgeousness of this horse. Beautiful horse. Then we have the glossy version of Valentine and Heartbreaker. There, there is one out of every six set that's sold. You'll get a glossy version of it. I was one of the six people, actually, to get the glossy version of this. And it is beautiful. These glossy versions of the Valentine and Heartbreaker are absolutely stunning and gorgeous. I was so shocked when it came glossy. Because I thought it was going to be the matte version. Matte version. But these are so high gloss and gorgeous. It's unbelievable. I got mine for the same price as the matte version. And happened to get the glossy version. Which I was so happy about. Because people are reselling these on eBay for around $70. But I got mine for 30 It's just such a pretty set. If you guys don't have this traditional set of horses, you should get it. Because it is stunning when you place it on a shelf or display it. These, and the glossiness of it is unbelievable. I am so happy with this purchase. And I do not regret one bit of it. I got this Briar Cougar from a set of one of the Briars that I got off eBay. I think this cougar might be from the Briar Wild Mustang set. He's pretty. He's kind of tannish with some gray around it. I don't know what type of cougar he is. If you guys can identify this one for me, it'd be nice. But I know there's so many of these Briar Cougars with such slight variations of them that I just don't really know which one this is. But he is pretty cool. I have the Picasso Mustang which is really beautiful. I had him in one of my Briar videos. He's a rearing horse. He stands up like that. And he's traditional. He's really pretty, actually. He can also stand up in this position, too, which is really nice. It's kind of more rare to see these horses in the Disado mold. This is Um Lots of these horses are usually more rare or more expensive to find, so I Got this guy for around 40 and he's just absolutely gorgeous and a beautiful large horse to have to your collection. He looks great on a shelf 
with your other horses because he just towers over them like he owns the place. <laughs> I got this beautiful horse, which is on the same mold as Picasso. His name is Aurelius. I got him on eBay from a nice seller who was selling hers for around 70 or 80. I negotiated it down to 60 for this beautiful boy. Lots of these are around the 90 and 100 dollar price range on eBay. But if you could find someone who's nice enough to negotiate down to 60, that would be awesome for this horse because it is just beautiful. It's a high gloss finish. Aurelius is a 2014 flagship horse. So he's only available from flagship stores. He's one of my more prized horses in my collection. And he is a beautiful chestnut rearing horse with a flaxen mane. He's just so pretty. I love this horse. He's like one of my favorites. You guys should get one for your collection too. I just think he's adorable. Look at that face. Look at that. Oh. Now I will be moving on to my stable mates that I've gotten recently, which I got quite a bit of these too. I got this sweet little briar horse off of eBay. It's a little stable mate. It's really cute. This one's vintage, actually. It's from 1975. Really pretty one. I got another one in the same mold, but it's a different color. This one's also vintage from 1975. Also, it's very pretty color, vintage stable mate. I got this darling little one. It's a vintage from 1975. It's a briar, and it's pretty also. It's a stable mate. This looks like a stable mate's Clydesdale, or Shire almost. I don't know what any of these stable mates' horses are. But this is a vintage 1975 one. I just don't know anything about stable mates that much, so I don't know what any of these stable mates horses are. If you guys have a better idea, please let me know if you're into collecting stable mates. But this guy has scratches on him because when I bought him from eBay, he was that way. But he's still a pretty horse. I have these stable mates twins. They're both from 1975. This stable mates horse from 1999, which is really pretty, flawless, stable mate. A 1999, also flawless, stable mate, pretty gray one, cute. This one's from 1996. It's a really pretty stable mate one. Looks maybe bay or brown or something? I don't know, it's really pretty, too. I got this 1998. Stable mates, which I'm starting to suspect that it's a thoroughbred just from the looks of it, but I don't know for sure yet. It came with some scratches, but it's a beautiful goldenish color or chestnut. I got one from the same mold. It's another color, it's darker with a black mane. I think it's a thoroughbred also. And last but not least, this cute little 1999 Stable Mates Briar. Either it's a Shire or a Clydesdale. It's obviously a draft horse just by looking at it. But it's really pretty horse too. To go along with the other stable mates. I hope you guys enjoyed this collection update video. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to like, to like and subscribe and share our videos to give us more publicity since we're a small channel. And... If you have any suggestions for new Briar episodes or Briar videos, let me know. Give this video a thumbs up, and, well, you guys just have a nice day. Bye!